Hey there, welcome. 2024 is, is the year of manifestation. That's what my spirit guides say. 2023 was about letting go of that which no longer serves you and getting to the point of figuring out what it is that no longer serves you. That was a big year. 2023 has been a big year for folks. Um, a lot of folks moved, changed relationships, changed jobs, had, you know, places and situations ripped out of their lives unexpectedly. It was like a year of pivotal change. So things happen on a really grand scale. 2024 is about manifestation. That's the beauty of 2023, is getting to that place of figuring out of that which no longer serves you, and then the letting go of that. But now we get to move on into the manifesting phase, which is really cool. This is what my spirit guides talk about. And they talk about that if you choose to, you can take advantage of this energy. We're going to see a pivotal change in April. We're going to feel it. Um, it's almost like everything is building, building, building and coming to a head and it's just going to bust apart. And we're going to feel a lot of relief and we're going to see a lot of relief actually in April. So hang on to that. Um, what my spirit guides talk about is us being in the third dimension. In the third dimension, we experience emotion. Folks realize that there is a connection between your vibration and ascension or rising or leveling up. Um, and this is true. We talk about raising our vibration, and we can do that temporarily by dancing or listening to loud music, playing music, going for um, a walk in nature or, um, you know, doing art projects, something that grounds you, gets you out of your head, but connects you with spirit. That's why it feels so good. Um, it's like we are celebrating the joy of spirit. And there is a way to do this permanently, to always be dancing and celebrating the joy of spirit. And my guides talk so much, the message is so much around soul contracts, why we are here, what are we here for, what is the purpose of us being here in this lifetime, having this experience with these people as who I am in this body, right? Here in the third dimension. Remember our soul exists in many dimensions at one time, but this piece of us here in the third, we experience emotion. This is how we grow, we rise, we level up, and we do that with our soul contracts. Now we can bring soul contracts through lifetime to lifetime, we can come in with the soul contract and then soul contracts are created on top of that contract. It's like as if we are a little sapling when we are born. We are at the top of the slide and we are going to incarnate into this life. And the souls that are around us that we incarnate with, it's not like I am choosing you to be my dad. It's I'm going to show up in a way as someone or some energy field that is going to reflect back to you that which you need to learn. So relationships are energy. That's what soul contract work is. Looking at relationships as energy. What is being reflected back to you that you need to learn? Remember. Nothing happens to you. It happens for you. It's all about energy. When you start doing soul contract work, you begin to like step outside of yourself and you kind of watch yourself and all the players on the stage and what it means that they have been in your life and what is it that you need to learn. That is soul contract work. It is um, learning 
What is spirit trying to teach you about your relationship with yourself? But what is spirit teaching you about your relationship with spirit? So now is the time to do this work. Because if people take advantage of that, if you choose to do that, as my guides say, you can make great change. Right now, the energy is just primed. Doesn't matter what age you are, it's all as if we are on a Saturn return, if you understand what that is. That's when somebody um, experiences like this incredible change that just propels them and moves them at a certain age, usually in their fifties. So, but it's like that for everyone. The energy is primed for that right now. It was funky in 2023, right? It was cool. And there's beauty in that because we all grew a lot, but it was funky. And it's not going to be so funky. It's going to be more uh, congruent and focused in 2024. So I highly encourage all of you to take a look at your soul contract, figuring out why you are here, what you are here for, what does this mean, why? And if you want to change your experience, like for me, I started soul contract work years ago. and then I got this book, Soul Contracts by Danielle McKinnon. And I read it, I devoured it in like a night. And to me, it made sense. So now I lead a group and we take a class. It's like a class. We do this uh, two hours uh, for five sessions. And we go through each one of these uh, chapters or steps into releasing our soul contracts. So I did this book. I did the exercises. I worked with it for quite a while. And I figured out a way to make it more efficient to just deal with one contract, go through the steps, learn how to release your contract, figuring out what your anchoring seed thoughts are, the related discordant emotions. This is all the nomenclature from the book. Um, but, um, I figured out how to do it. So it's a lot easier. And what's really cool is people do take this class and they love it because they're with their tribe. They're with you and you find your people. I have folks from the first class who became like best friends and they all went last summer. They went to, uh, Savannah, Georgia to go ghost hunting. I couldn't go, but they're all like really good friends and they support each other in their growth and they've made great changes. Like what I experienced was I lost 130 pounds. I stopped being so depressed and not wanting to get out of bed. I changed my life and started a business that I love and I love people. I love what I do. I accept myself more now, understand myself, not blaming others, not angry with others, not, um, not walking around <clears throat> like I did, repeating patterns and feeling like a victim. I kind of had this victim mentality, you know, like I blamed others. Um, but just that feeling of discontent, of not wanting to be on the earth, kind of really wishing that I would die soon because I couldn't stand it. I didn't like being in my own skin and I didn't like being here and I didn't feel like I fit or I belonged anywhere. But now I feel included and I feel like I belong. I found my people. I'm doing what I'm meant to be doing right? And I'm healthy. And I wake up with energy. And I'm excited to get out of bed to put my feet on the floor. I have a really good tool for my toolbox to deal with my life. Now, that doesn't mean you do this once and it's over. It's something because we are humans, you guys, we have to remember that. 
We are humans having a spiritual experience. We are also spirits having a human experience. And we do that so we can rise, we can level up, we can ascend. So the class begins this Saturday, January 20th, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Mountain. And uh, you get the meditations um, and I teach you how to use your spirit guides to develop a relationship, to begin that process of developing that relationship and learning to let go. One more thing. If you've been in therapy, I was in therapy for years to try to overcome my depression. And therapy is wonderful for soul contract work because it helps you to get really clear and map out your soul system, they call it, that's in the book. And, but you see all the players in your life and the role that they have played. So contract work just takes you one level deeper where you learn to transmute that energy so that you're not vibrating there and then attract that. That's why we attract in repetitive patterns into our life. You know, same shit, different bucket, right? We have the same relationship, but with a different person. We have the same job, but at a different place. You know, the same experience, same experiences in friendships. And always kind of leading to a certain place that maybe we've been dissatisfied with. I am telling you that truly you can change it. You can change that. And just by taking it one step deeper and learning how to transmute the energy, you can attract really what you want. You can manifest and create the life that you want. I'm totally serious. <laughs> All right. One more thing. So uh, I meditate before the class. And then when we're in the class, I'm getting hits from your guides and my spirit guides on what needs to be shared. Therefore, each class is different. Each time I do this series, it's different. It's not like Econ 101 where I can pass out a syllabus and we follow through. Pretty much what we're doing is each session is that certain step. But each time, the information that's covered, the uh, what comes out of everybody's experience is what is shared. Therefore, the class is always very different. So if you've taken the class before and you would like to continue, please sign up for release and support. If you would like to join the class for the first time, please sign up for Soul Contract Series 1. Release and support is Soul Contract 2. Use Thank You 15, 15% off. It's the new year. I'm offering this just a couple times this year. So please take advantage. We'd, I would love to see you. The guides would love to see you. It is, uh, you know, it's time to get going, guys. Let's take advantage of 2024. My spirit guides say it's going to be amazing, especially in April. We're going to feel a lot of relief in April, guys. So uh, this Saturday, January 20th, 10 to 12, go to jenbushman.com. Use thank you 15 uh, for 15% 15 off. All right. Thank you so much. And I will see you soon.